Bonjour et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cindy. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to order coffee in France. So, let's get started. I bet you you're going to be reaching for coffee after watching this. Anyway, let's start with the black coffees. So, if you want to order an espresso in France, one thing you need to be aware of is that there is three ways of asking for one which means that it may come under three different names on the menu. It's also important to remember that if you ask for un café, which means a coffee, you will be given an espresso, and not simply a black coffee. So to ask for an espresso, you could say un café s'il vous plaît, un café s'il vous plaît, or un espresso s'il vous plaît. Un espresso, s'il vous plaît. Or, un express, s'il vous plaît. Un express, s'il vous plaît. It's also not uncommon to see espresso written with an X instead of an S. In fact, you'll often hear people ask for un espresso instead of un espresso. And if you want a double espresso, all you need to do is add the word double after café or before express or espresso. So for example, you could say Pour moi, ce sera un café double s'il vous plaît. Pour moi, ce sera un café double s'il vous plaît. Or Pour moi, ce sera un double express s'il vous plaît. Pour moi, Ce sera un double express, s'il vous plaît. Or again, Pour moi, ce sera un double espresso, s'il vous plaît. Pour moi, ce sera un double espresso, s'il vous plaît. If you want a strong espresso, just like in English, in French it also has two different names, which are un café serré and un ristretto. Un café serré and un ristretto. So to ask for one, you could say Je vais prendre un café serré, s'il vous plaît. Je vais prendre un café serré, s'il vous plaît. Or Je vais prendre un ristretto, s'il vous plaît. Je vais prendre un ristretto, s'il vous plaît. And if espressos are too strong for you, you might want an Americano instead. For those of you who don't know what an Americano is, it's basically an espresso with added hot water. So to ask for one of those, you could say Je voudrais un café américain s'il vous plaît. Je voudrais un café américain s'il vous plaît. Or Je voudrais Un café allongé, s'il vous plaît. Je voudrais un café allongé, s'il vous plaît. So just to make things clear, there is a slight difference between un café américain and un café allongé. They both have an espresso with added hot water, but the difference is that un café américain does not have any froth on top because the water is added after the espresso. Whereas un café allongé has some froth on top because the espresso is added to the hot water. So basically, if you want a diluted espresso with froth on top, ask for un café allongé. And if you don't want any froth, ask for un café américain. Now let's talk about white coffees. Personally, I would never drink black coffees. What about you? Let me know in French in the comments below whether you prefer black coffees or white coffees and which of the ones featured in this lesson is your favourite. Don't forget, it has to be in French. That's my little challenge for you for today. So from the least milky to the milkiest, first is un café noisette. Now, un café noisette doesn't seem to have an English translation, correct me if I'm wrong, so Basically, it is an espresso with just a drop of milk. So if that's what you want, you can say Un café noisette, s'il vous plaît. Un café noisette, s'il vous plaît. 
Or you can drop the word café and just say un noisette, s'il vous plaît. Un noisette, s'il vous plaît. As a side note, you might know that noisette means hazelnut and is usually a feminine noun, but when it refers to coffee, you have to use un in front of it and not une. The reason for this is because the noun café is implied. So as seen in the previous example, un noisette actually stands for un café noisette. If you want a white coffee or a flat white, that is an espresso with some water and either cream or milk, ask for un café crème. Un café crème s'il vous plaît. Un café crème s'il vous plaît. If you want a cappuccino, that's easy. Just ask for un cappuccino. Je voudrais un cappuccino, s'il vous plaît. Je voudrais un cappuccino, s'il vous plaît. And if you want a mocha coffee, that is a coffee with some chocolate syrup, ask for un café mocha or un mocha chino. Un café mocha pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Un café mocha pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Un mocachino pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Un mocachino pour moi, s'il vous plaît. So that's pretty much it for drinks at a cafe. So let's talk about what black and white cafes are called at home. Because of course, it would have to be different. So if you're at home or visiting friends and you want a white coffee, you need to ask for un café au lait. And if you want a black coffee, you need to ask for un café noir. Un café au lait, un café noir. In France, most people drink un café au lait for breakfast in a big bowl with no handles. That's because they like to dip croissants or bread into it. On the other hand, unlike in the UK, most French people don't drink coffee with their lunch or dinner but they sometimes drink it after dessert or in front of the TV. So basically what I'm trying to say is be prepared to get some funny looks if you go to a French restaurant and ask for a coffee with your dinner. On the odd occasion, a café au lait will be offered in some cafés, in which case it means milky coffee or latte. Here are a few words you might find useful. Deca means decaf. And decaffeiné means decaffeinated. Deca, decaffeiné. In general, when people ask for a decaf coffee, instead of saying café, they say deca. So, for example, if you wanted an espresso, which is also referred to as un café in cafés, instead of saying un café, you would say un deca. Un deca and you would get a decaf espresso. If you wanted a decaf white coffee, instead of saying un café crème, you would say un déca crème. Un déca crème. Most people don't actually say the full word décaféiné. Lait de soja is soya milk. Lait de soja. If you want to pour the milk in yourself, say Avec le lait à part, avec le lait à part, which means with the milk on the side. Crème de soja is soya cream. Crème de soja. Du sucre, some sugar. Du sucre. Une tasse, a cup. Une tasse. And un bol, a bowl. Un bol. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. That's what the comments are for. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I upload new videos regularly. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.